<laughs> so we've been talking about we've been talking about uh, Isko Moreno practically the whole evening. I do want to talk about also Dr. Willie Ong. Uh, we know mm -hmm. he was not he, we know he was not the first choice. Uh, they, they've been very candid about that. But hey, tell us a bit. Hey, what was the process? Um, and ultimately, why Willie Ong? And directly, ingo na kasi dami ng tanong. Siguro ba tayo yung hindi placeholder yun? Well, like just like to answer the last one, you know, it's definitely not. Uh, it was a very uh, strategic move on the part of uh, Mayor Scott. Uh, there were names at uh, the, the onset that were discussed, uh, that were talked about, and we looked at it, we discussed it, and when when uh, his name came about, uh, our vice presidential candidate, it was something that uh, a little. Uh, of a surprise to me, but little by little, um, it made sense because, uh, like uh, Senator Recto said, it was, uh, sabi nga ng iba mga kaibigan ko, genius choice. Kasi, pandemia ngayon eh. And uh, it's, nakita naman natin how uh, Mayor Sko uh, ran Manila with a doc doctor by mm -hmm. his side, Dr. Hani Lacuna. Si, and Sabi niya nga, he, run, he, he does things by prototypes. Mga nasubukan niya na, nagawa niya na. And how uh, they address uh, COVID, the pandemic in, in Manila, is how he intends to also do it uh, in the national level and more. And who else uh, to get as a running mate but uh, Dr. Willie Ong, uh, who has uh, a wide... Uh, knowledge of these things. In fact, when he gave his speech kanina, he said that we will give the best vaccine sa mga Pilipinos. Uh, sa mga, Pili sa, sa, sa mga mamayang Pilipino. No? He will give the best equipment, medical equipment. He will ensure that the neglected frontliners will be taken care of. So these are the things that they've been doing in Manila. We've been, Mayor Scott has been doing in Manila. And uh, it's going to be like, taken into the national level. 